making the face for the thumbnail. So a lot of you guys ask me why I don't use palettes. Well, that's because they suck. They are very good for a high powered air rifle, but for a air revolver or pistol on CO2 or green gas, they, they really suck. Reason number one, if you have the pellets only version, then it will come with shells like these. First you have to screw the top off, then put the pellet in the correct way, and then screw the top back on. And that's very annoying if you have to do that every time. Reason number two, pellets are made out of lead, and lead is very weak. Let me demonstrate. See? Completely flat. Now, let's do the same with a steel BB. It's right in there. And it's not damaged at all. If I can get it out. See? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason why these air guns can do so much damage. It's not because they are very powerful, because they are really not. It's because they use very strong projectiles. And because they are so tiny, it's very easy for them to penetrate stuff and then just break it. Now a lot of you claim that pellets are way better than steel BBs. Let me prove you wrong. I'm gonna use my Don Wesson for this test because I have shells for steel BBs and pellets. And we also have uh, different weights and shapes. So the steel BB weighs 0 0.35 gram these uh, round pellets are the heaviest and they weigh 0 0.69 gram and then we have these lighter ones and they have a sharp po point there. And they weigh 0 0.49 gram. So the weight is correct. Here's the difference in FPS. First up, the steel BBs. And now these pellets. And now these pellets. You see how much difference in FPS we get with just a few grams of difference in the projectile and that's the reason it doesn't matter how heavy you make the pellet it will just travel slower and by that time it can do any damage 
and if it's too heavy it can't even make it out of the barrel all right first let's try it out on some cardboards All right, let's see the results. So they all made it through 20 cardboards. Now let's try something stronger. Here are some empty cans. And first up, we're gonna try the heavy pellets. So it made it through 5 cans and in the 6th can we have an entry but not an exit. And I'm also gonna add another can. And now it's time for the pointy pellet. Damn, I didn't hit it in the middle, so I'm gonna try again. Oh wow, this pellet made it through six cans and made a dent in the seventh can. That's probably because it has a sharp point and it's lighter so it can travel faster. And now it's time for the steel BB. So it also made it through six cans and the seventh can has a dent in it. I think I can prove my point better with a glass jar. First up, the heavy pellets. Okay, so you could clearly see that the pellets just deform and don't break the glass. Now I'm going to put some weight in there so it doesn't fall over. And now the pellets that are lighter so they will travel faster and they have a sharp point. Now it's time for the steel BBs. Now let's try it out on this wine bottle. This is 5 mm thick glass. First up the heavy pellets. And now these pellets. And you can do that all day. That glass ain't gonna break with pellets. I also found some heavier pellets with a steel tip but they didn't work.
No. Nothing is coming out. That's what she said. <laughs> Ah, the pellets are stuck inside the barrel. Look. Damn. So now let's try out the steel BBs. <laughs> Look at that carnage. Completely destroyed. Here you can see just how thick this glass is. Look at that. And now I have to clean up. But wait, there's more. Let's also do an accuracy test. And for that, I've put the revolver in a vise, so it's nice and secure. And we're gonna do the test inside, so wind cannot affect the results. And here are the results for the accuracy test. First up, the dome-shaped heavy pellet. As you can see, that's a very wide spread. And for the light pellet with a point, these were way more accurate. Which is weird, because normally these pellets uh, should be more accurate, since they were are being used uh, to practice on a target. And these are for hunting. And here is the result for the steel BB. Now, the Don Wesson should be more accurate, but it is getting very old, so yeah. So, yeah, with pellets, you never know. You have to test them out, and it all depends on the shape of the pellet, the brand, and the rifle or gun you are using. So, that's why I prefer steel BBs, because the shape is always round, so the accuracy only depends on the gun itself. And you can shoot bottles completely to pieces.